Our next guest is a country superstar who just released a brand new album and a brand new tequila. Please welcome Thomas Rhett. Hey, hey. How are y'all? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm better than I deserve. Thank you for asking. So you have been on the show once before uh, to perform. Very nice to talk to you. Uh, Luke Bryan was just uh, here. He was named uh, ACM Entertainer of the Year. You won last year, but only got to hold the title for a few months. And so here's what he had to say about that. I get my full year. Yeah. I mean, what, you know, maybe I need to, you know, sit down with him and I'll grant him like, you know, 33 and a third, or whatever. I can't do the math. <laughs> but I'll grant him a couple extra months. All right, good. You know, I think come, he's here soon. I'll talk to him yeah, about it. Yeah, he'll come clean my pool or something yeah. at the house. Oh. I'll let him have oh. two or three extra months of, of you know, walking around yeah. telling everybody I'm the If he cleans your pool. <laughs> that's, that's a shame. Do you feel slighted yeah. that you didn't get the amount of time as Entertainer of the Year? I mean, yeah, I'm really upset with Luke. I feel like I should have at least been able to hold on to it for a year. Yeah, I agree with you. You know what? As soon as we can have you here, you're going to be here. And then we're going to celebrate you. I'm going to introduce you as Entertainer of the Year. So every time you're here, Please do. you are Entertainer <laughs> of the Year. Thank you very much. Uh, that, that would be a huge honor. Uh, it, my <laughs> pleasure. You're in Texas about to do your first shows in a year and a half. That must be... Yeah. Are you Are you nervous or just excited? I'm really nervous, but it, it feels good to be nervous about something again. Yeah. You know, I was just born to do this. It, it feels so awesome to get kind of get back at it. So. That's so great. Boy, the lucky people that are going to get to go see a, a show, a concert. That's fantastic. Um, you had a baby right before lockdown. You obviously have a nice set of hair. This baby inherited your hair for sure. Look at that hair. <laughs> she did. <laughs> yeah, she definitely did. It's crazy. Her name's Lennon. She was born in February of 2020. I mean, when she's in high school, they're going to be, she's going to be learning in, in the history books about the year that she was born, you know? Um, I mean, she, we didn't leave the house for, you know, 60, 70 days. And, you know, she basically just grew up without hardly seeing anybody. But, um, man, she is absolutely just incredible. All three of my babies are just yeah. the light of my world. And, and look at these pictures about to make me cry. I miss them already. Yeah, well, and three daughters. I'm sure the other two daughters, that was really hard for them also to, to kind of just be yeah. in lockdown for a while. But, yeah, you said you have three daughters. You're turning into a very stereotypical dad. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing a, a, a polo at, you know, 4.30 on a Tuesday. <laughs> Yeah, and I've got, where's this thing at? This is like sitting on my desk. I had to move it out of the way. So that, I mean, my bus is just filled with nothing but kid toys. Um, my shorts are getting shorter. You know, I'm taking a, a camera everywhere I go, a big camera, trying to, trying to just capture all these moments and just really just embrace the, yeah, that's a good picture right there. Um, Embracing the dad life. Um, so you, you have a new album, Country Again, Side A. Um, do your girls, they must love, do you, do you sing to them at home? Yeah, I do. And, you know, they've actually become some of my best uh, people to determine what songs are going to go on records. You know, I'll drive around the car, you know, on the way to school or home from school and play them new demos. And, and uh, if they don't ask to hear it again, then there's no way that song is ever going to make the record. But if they ask to hear it a couple couple times, then you know you might have a, a hit or two on your hands. And they're already starting to kind of show a lot of interest in music. And, you know, anytime I'm down in the studio, one of them's banging on the piano, one of them's hitting the drums, and one of them's singing on the microphone. So it's been really cool just to kind of impart the, the little bit of knowledge I have of, of, of what I love about music to them. So it's, it's been really cool. Oh, I, that, would, that would be the best, to have them start singing and playing music, you know, and watch them and help them. That would be amazing. You're performing a song for us after this. You wrote it with your dad. Um, yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, the song's called What's Your Country Song? And we actually wrote it in 2019, me and my dad and a couple of other co-writers. And... Uh, it was just, I had, I had this title on my phone for forever, like, where's your country or what's your country? And, and somehow, some way it got into what is your country song? And I, I kind of threw out this, this line of one of my old dad songs of That Ain't My Truck. And we all kind of laughed about it and, it. and then it happened to turn into the songs. So we dropped like 16 different, you know, country song titles in that, in, into the verses and kind of had them wrap around back into the chorus. And uh, that was the first number one off this record and, and kind of sent this record into, into new places for us. So it's been a, it's been a wild ride since it came out. That's, uh, that's fantastic. What a great story. You, um, tell us about your tequila. I have a little uh, shot of this here. It's, uh, we, um, tell us the story, because there's a little <laughs> more to it than just having tequila. Oh, I've got some, too. Are we taking a shot together? I think we are. Now, this, uh, this tequila right here, my, my cousin and I, uh, Jeff Warren, he lives down in Valdosta, 
Georgia and we go skiing together every year and we were talking on the ski lift one day about developing a company together. We had no idea what it was going to be and we both love tequila and kind of just landed on, we just started a tequila company. We had no idea what we were doing. And, uh, you know, through the last few years, um, gotten to meet a lot of great people, gotten to taste a lot of really unique different tequilas and look at a bunch of different bottles. And, and of January this year, tequila, this does pretty much hit the shelves this year. So it's been pretty awesome. It's been a lot of fun to do. Well, congratulations to everybody at home. Cheers. Happy Cinco de Mayo, Cheers. everybody. <laughs> That's nice. Country again, side A. What do you is, think? Is it smooth? Oh, yeah, very, very. Country again, side A <laughs> is on streaming services now, and Dos Primos Tequila is available in stores. Thomas is going to perform for us right after this. Thomas, thanks so much.